Okay, I got some news. I was just checking out my news channel, news channel four, WIF four. That's my news channel. All right, so um, yeah, here's their channel. This got some interesting stuff, bad news, and some good news. We actually got a new movie theater coming. It's a IMAX. Okay, and it's right in my hometown of Simpsonville, South Carolina. And there isn't another one for two states away. No, it's not going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina. And no, it's not going to be in somewhere in Georgia. They were between South Carolina, Georgia, and North Carolina. But they chose South Carolina. And out of all the places, Spartanburg, Greenville, Oconee, Anderson, they chose the small little town of Simpsonville that I live in to put a brand new IMAX theater on in. It's pretty much an unknown town just about, but well, it's not unknown, but it's not that big, but now we're gonna have a lot of traffic though, but it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna increase our property value. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the videos of some bad news too. We have someone in Pickens County that broke out of a jail. Okay, <clears throat> here uh, is their news channel. Is their channel okay? Okay, and they got a new fire extinguisher thing, a green fire extinguisher. It's like a nitro thing. Okay. When it opens this spring, number one, I will be there. But it will be the only IMAX theater between Charlotte and Atlanta. New at six tonight. Here's News 4's Beth Brotherton with the newest option for date night in the Upstate. Right now, it doesn't look like much more than an oversized That's Simpson, concrete South Carolina. box, hardly an entertainment destination. But soon, it will be a great escape, an IMAX movie theater with 13 other traditional screens. It's very cool, and, uh, and of course, I've watched this construction from the beginning, and I'm all excited about it. The new theater will be located on South Street in Simpsonville, just off Interstate 385, in between Fairview and West Georgia Roads. This is a relatively undeveloped part of the city, or a part of the city that has been mostly ignored, quite frankly, by developers. It's about not change. anymore. The new theater will open mid-March and bring a I lot more traffic change. to that side of town. More people means the promise of even more business. The theater is still under construction, but the mayor says there There's are old bylaws from retailers about this old Bilo grocery store down the street and the old Simpsonville store. I think it shows that, that people are willing to invest money in Simpsonville, and, and you know while the economy is in sad shape everywhere. Uh, Even our governor is, is beginning to pick up Argentina. Again. Seriously, the theater owners are yeah, based on has the West got Coast to go. and scouted a lot of property in the southeast before choosing this one. They mentioned Heritage Park and the things that are going on down there, and, and they mentioned too that we focus on Heritage Park's uh, not uh, far. It seems like we too. And, and quality of life issues, and they really like that. The theater will also have a lounge that serves meals and drinks, not Dang. just popcorn. <laughs> Making oh, a dinner cool. and a movie all in one spot. Oh, Day that's night. news to me. It's just over cool. two months away. <laughs> Brother 10 WYFF. Nice. Okay, this is exciting. Okay, now I got some bad news. Am I getting a zip? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> not really one. School clothes? Yeah, I'm not even in school. Uh, it's winter break. <laughs> So with this new thing called Home Group, I'm connected to everything in my house. Music, pictures, printers, and my kid's laptop. So what? Uh, just a couple of clicks and bam, I have access to all my files. <gasps> okay. On the PC and that's how it's done. Okay. Mike, thanks. The Greenville County School was closed abruptly oh, over the winter yeah. break. Now 15 teachers are out of a job and 75 students will have to find a new Let's place see. to get their education the in a matter of days. They got a new fire extinguisher that was made here. The creator says this technology could revolution. Extinguisher says. Here, you can watch sure. this. The horrific experience ignited an idea. A nitrogen based compressed air foam system. Our whole goal is to save lives. Henry says the substance inside this little can, dubbed Nitro Strike, expands water up to 40 times its original size. Henry claims first responders can knock down a fire more efficiently than with a conventional extinguisher. I actually rolled up on a car fire, and the uh, lady 
and you know he's not thinking she pulled her car through the side of the road to get it out of the road but she pulled it into the gas station <laughs> car was still on fire i emptied the entire canister and uh second off to right we emptied that canister if you don't remove the oxygen if you don't remove the heat source and the fuel source fires and does not need to be recharged after a single use it would be a great benefit to us um and you know in this time that we're going through cost savings and on January 4th, the Town Fire Department will begin using the nitro strike extinguishers. <laughs> That's when the extinguishers will also hit local retail stores. Oh, I just got to the jailbreak. Jailbreak, where are you? I can't find it. Oh, no. Hell, it's right here. Hello. <laughs> Tim, thank you. The search is on for a convicted felon who ran off while felon who ran off while on work duty in Pickens County. Thirty-year-old David Jeremy Latour is <laughs> in a minimum security Get a good prison, look. Sure. waiting to be sentenced on federal charges. News 4's Myra Ruiz joins us live from Pickens with more. Myra. Well, Nigel David Latour. Well, Nigel. Charges. Okay, I want y'all all to get a good look at him. Okay, he is wanted. The date is December the 30th, 2009, and it's 1124 Eastern Time. I think Pickens County, there will be more wanted. This man right here, David Lator, 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 David Lator, David Lator, David Lator, I think, David Lator, David Lator, David Lator, that's a fun name to say, say it. David Ledor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David Ledor. Okay. News 4's Myra Ruiz joins us live from Pickens with more. Myra. Well, Nigel, David Latour was convicted in September of federal drug and weapons charges. Now, while waiting to be sentenced on those charges, a family court judge sentenced him to one year at a minimum security prison for failure to pay child support. <laughs> This minimum security prison oh. in Pickens County spend their days cleaning up the community. Instead of allowing the inmates to stay in a, uh, a cell all day long, uh, we work those inmates uh, partly as a cost avoidance measure for the county. The assistant county oh, administrator says job. as a family court inmate, the county had no choice but to take in David Jeremy Latour. He had already had two prior convictions in state court for assault with intent to kill. And oh, court, okay. Yeah, he is for possession with intent to distribute David meth Lador. and felon in possession David of a Lador. weapon. We placed him in an area that we felt like uh, was as controlled as we could possibly make it, short of leaving him inside the prison, which would then require an additional guard. On Tuesday morning, Latour was at the Six Mile Post Office in a recycling truck with a supervisor and one other inmate. When the supervisor got out of the truck, Latour did as well and ran away. Before Latour was even allowed to work, the county checked his record with the National Crime Information Center. NCIC check did not reveal uh, to us that uh, it would be a hazard to the Public. The assistant county administrator says the county did the best it could with the available resources. The minimum security prison, when you, when you work inmates, well, how'd you find it? Day, uh, if it is the sole purpose of that inmate to escape, uh, he probably can't. Uh, assistant county administrator Lynn Fisher says in the past five and a half years, only two inmates have managed to escape from that minimum security prison. He says that investigators are trying to figure out right now if Latour had an accomplice. Meantime, if anyone knows where he may be, please call 911. Myra Ruiz, WYFF News 4 Live in Pickens. Okay, I'm going to look for the Golden Apple Award because someone that I know who's actually my neighbor, I'll interview her for y'all. Um, she actually is on News 4. That's cool. Okay, let me go to News Force website actually and I'll show you her on another video. Thank you. And goodbye. Heck, I only got a few more seconds anyways.